This is Johnny Gould's Jewish State. There is very similar hate, though, before Zionism. 1497 in Portugal, 1492 in Spain, uh, the 11th century in England, in York and Norwich and Lincoln. That's not Zionism. That's the same hate through the years. Listen, it may sometimes happen something, but it was really peace. Look now in Iran, Iraq, and Tunis, Yemen. People, Jewish people are living in peace there with no problems. The Jews are always left. You've been on protests and rallies, countering the never-ending anti-Israel hate marches in London. And you look on wondering why Saturdays in central London are allowed to become the domineering space for terror-supporting hordes and their throngs of useful idiots as they snake past the splendid museums, jaunty theatres, flagship stores and centuries-old architecture which talk of deep British traditions. Tolerance of protests is an expression of our freedom and values, but our free country and its values must be allowed to survive. President Macron outlawed them in France immediately after October the 7th. He looks wise in retrospect. And then across the road amid the Palestinian flags and disgusting anti-Semitic placards, you see men that you recognise with long coats, big hats, payout, beards and white socks. The inexplicable Nature Carter, the ultra-Orthodox anti-Zionists who literally side with the deathly enemy. It's one thing to be a religious Jew and believe Israel can only exist from the Messianic age onwards for sure, but it's quite another to flirt, to consort with those who chirp for Israel's destruction, to support Iran and its proxies openly. And as you'll hear, they actually believe they're safe standing with these terrorist supporters and believe that anti-Zionism started with the Zionist movement and the formation of the State of Israel. These are the most extreme and unpleasant views ever expressed on Johnny Gould's Jewish State. But I believe we have broad enough shoulders to take this dissent from an extreme minority and put it in its place. And that place is in the dustbin on the wrong side of history. And so I walked through the police cordon and stood with the repugnant Islamist agitators and hate mongers with their Palestinian flags and covered faces and confronted the frummers. I must confess when I left them a feeling of despair because of the sheer treachery and lack of faith in what was said to me. And I ran a poll of regular listeners to see whether I should even run this as an episode. The result was conclusive, two-thirds to one-third in favour of me running this as an episode. So here it is. You'll hear two members of the sect. First up, Jacob Miller and Alta Hochhauser. The state of Israel is a terrorist state. My name is Jacob Miller of Natura Carta. Um, we are came out here today because the Zionists are making here a a rally for the, the for the sins of the seventh of October, what happened seventh October, and we are coming to say here out of the religious view that what happened seventh of October is we have to look at the root cause what happened the seventh of October. The, the root cause. The root cause was Hamas terrorism, not Zionism. No. It is when you talk about advocating for the end of the Jewish state. This is a Chilol Hashem. It's a Chilol Hashem. Yes, but we are saying that we have lived in peace with the Muslim people at last few hundred years. The Zionists, they caused the problem in the Middle East today today. We haven't lived in peace with our Muslim neighbors. I'm going to pick out one example from 1941. The Farhud the in on Shavuos in Iraq. That's not Zionism. That is hate from an indigenous people that kicked us out. My grandfather lived very in peace in Jerusalem before 1948. Good neighbors, neighbors with the Muslim people. We have not, not a problem. 
only when the Zionists started to want to create its own state, then it began, it began the hate Muslim people. There is very similar hate, though, before Zionism, 1497 in Portugal, 1492 in Spain, uh, the 11th century in England, in York and Norwich and Lincoln. That's not Zionism. That's the same hate through the years. Listen, it may, may sometimes happen something, but it was really peace. Look now in Iran, Iraq, and Tunis, Yemen, people, Jewish people are living in peace there with no problem. The Jews have always left. I, I tell you, listen, right, I am for Jewish you know, unity, my right? Mother, my, I'm for, yeah. my mother lived, she's still alive, her old mother, God to give her that many years. She lived, she told us, she lived in Jerusalem together with a, 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 a Palestinian very, very peacefully. Have no, the baby sit on each other. We have Look, no problem. I'm, I'm all for it's Jewish all unity. I, I, I you're lucky you've got the Yid who's for Jewish yeah, unity, but, but uh, this is the end. You're right at the other side. You're right at the end of the spectrum in terms of where Jewish pop, uh, popular opinion is. No, but it's all Zionist propaganda. All these stories about problems with uh, Muslim and Palestinian, it's only Zionist propaganda. It's, it's, it's lie, lie, and lie, and lie. You're you're Jewish, but you're supporting against. What the state are you supporting? Why do you against do this? Against the state of Israel. Against the state of Israel. Do you know that they would kill you as a Jew? They would kill you. Do you know that, guys? Do you know that they would kill you? The enemies would kill you. Who are enemies? I think I would say they are your enemies. Who? These people. Here. Zionist people. No. The Arabs. Yeah, no one of the Arabs, these Palestinian Palestine, sports, whoever they are. Not our enemies. We would we lived together with them till the Zionist uh, idea came on came on came on the world. Would we you? Lived, we lived peacefully with all. Muslim uh, that's not true, though, is it? It's true. Till today, all people in the and all Muslim and uh, Jewish people in Iran live very peacefully in all countries. We have no problems, Palestinians with Arabs, Muslims, in the whole world. In Palestine, Jerusalem, we live together with the Palestinians, but uh, peacefully. Till the state, till the state of Israel came along. But what about the, all, what all about the Farhood in 1941? For example, one of many pogroms. One of all, many pogroms. All because Zionism. It's Since Zionism, Zionism came on, there was beginning problem. With the, was there Zionism in 1492 in yeah. Spain? No. There was not Zionism. All problem with the Zion, it was a, 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 a Muslim. It's only stuff by Zionism. Was Zionism. there Zionism in Portugal in 1497? No. Every, uh, there was pop, there was pop, preparing for the for the state of Israel. There was preparing years before that. Since the Zionism came along, the idea of Zionism 120 years ago, then it started the problem and, 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 and with the Muslim. We didn't have no have no, have no problem with them. And what we, if till, till today, when when a Palestinian when a Muslim know that we are against Zionism, they are very helpful to us. And what uh, if your allies won? Yeah. What would happen to you? Yeah. If these, if your yeah, allies here, yeah. the Iranian yeah, yeah. theocracy won, yeah, what would yeah, happen they, to you? They, if they understand the definition, the difference between Zionism and Judaism, they have no problem with Jews and Judaism. They have no problem with Jews. They say they say, they, say, they are continuing to, to make it clear. They have no problem with Jews. Only problem is occupation. Uh, occupy, they're, not, uh, they're not in control of everybody who hates us. They're not in control of everyone. They don't hate us. They don't hate. There would always be someone ready to kill you. It's always we are we are in exile. God has sent us in exile, and we are God is protecting us. We long. We, we are doing what God wants. We have to live in exile under all nations. We're not fighting. We are with peacefully people. We have no problem. The problem only is Zionism. Zionists, the state of Israel, are fighting. They are bring 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 up the the they 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 are bring up. Antisemitism, the antisemitism on the, on the world. Today there's no antisemitism, only Zionism. Zionists are proposing, promoting. So what conditions could an Israel exist in for you? Is it for the Mashiach to come? We have to wait for Mashiach. That's it? That's it. We are not allowed to rule on, all, uh, on any country. We are not allowed to rule a country today. We are in exile, we have to wait, Mashiach will come, and then there will be a change in the whole world. The whole world will recognize God, it will be peace, no fighting, no killing, we have peace for everybody, all will serve God. Till then we are in exile, we are waiting peacefully, uh, uh, patiently for, uh, uh, for God to come and send Messiah and be good for everyone. Do you have faith 
that people wouldn't kill you if they won? We are, we are, we, we are in another uh, probably two thousand years in exile, and we went through very difficult um, 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 persecution. Yes, but before Zionists. Yes, but it's not it was, it, the persecution was, was not by the Zionist Muslim. It was by the by the European people. And, 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 and no, and when in the last 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 hundred years, last few hundred years, we have no persecution persecution in the Muslim lands. But it was I'll, I'll repeat it again. The Farhood on Shavuot in 1941 in Iraq was an attack, was a, was a pogrom in the Mizrahi world. Only because of Zionism. Only because of Zionism. Zionism started 120 years ago and much more before 1941. And then it started all problems. And the Zionists, well, you should know more. The Zionists attacked people in, 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 in Muslim countries and they say that the Arab makes it because the Jews will feel some, uh, uh, in, uh, frightened and go to, to Israel. That's fin the. Finally, what, what is your name and where are you from? Are you from Nitori Karta? Nitori Karta, yeah. What's your name? Rabbi uh, Hochhausen. Alte Hochhausen. Alte Hochhausen. Yeah. For those who listen, for those who are willing to listen.